It's Thanksgiving, which means I can now start talking about all the best roller coasters that opened in 2023. This year was the first in quite some time where I was able to get on a good chunk of the new roller coasters. With that said, there are still some good notable roller coasters I missed, like Tron Light Cycle Run at Walt Disney World, and basically every new major roller coaster part of the international market. For the most part, I would say that every new for 2023 roller coaster I experienced would be at least considered a good roller coaster. With the exception of one or two that might classify in my middle of the road bunch. Before I talk about these new attractions, please do me a favor by clicking on that like button. And if you're new to my channel, love roller coasters, make sure to subscribe. Wild Mouse, located at Cedar Point. Instead of going big, which Cedar Point is saving that move for 2024, the park opted to create a much needed family coaster in the form of Wild Mouse. This is basically your typical spinning Wild Mouse roller coaster, but with a couple new additions. The train designs have been improved for the better, including more roomy individual lap bars. Next, the layout for this roller coaster strays from the usual pattern. Wild Mouse features more bank turnarounds and helixes. I think this layout is better than the traditional, providing some more exciting moments of spinning. The only downside with this improved layout is that the train will traverse the course much faster, creating a shorter ride time than the original. Dark Coaster, located at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Though I am finally glad that Busch Gardens has found a purpose for the abandoned Dark Castle structure, I just wish they'd put a little bit more effort into the theming. Not to say that this ride has bad theming, because it, well it doesn't, it's definitely better than what you would see at most regional amusement parks, but being a part of the SeaWorld chain, I was hoping that they would dish out a little more cash to make this ride experience even better. This multi-launching indoor family roller coaster is basically serviceable, providing some theming but nothing to take it to the next level. The launches are fun, the layout feels repetitive because, well, I mean it actually is. The ride travels the entire course twice, which is due to the very cool switch track element so the train can load while the other train is running the course. Thankfully they mix up the theming a little bit for that second time, but overall it is a forgettable ride. This year over the summer, the wait for this attraction has been consistently riding around 90 minutes. That is due to the very small trains, each train only holds a total of 10 people, and the cycles last about 70 seconds, so you really can't get that many people through this ride in an hour. Now that I've been on this attraction, I wouldn't find myself in line again unless I could get on this ride in under 10 minutes. Arctic Rescue, located at SeaWorld San Diego. Of the two multi-launching family coasters that SeaWorld Parks constructed, Arctic Rescue is the best of the two. This roller coaster features three launches, multiple snappy turns and maneuvers. The roller coaster is basically compacted into a small portion of land, creating a spaghetti of track. As I was riding the coaster, I couldn't really make out which section was coming up or what portions of the ride we already completed. Oh, there's three launches. The theming is about on par with Dark Coaster, it's serviceable but not as good as I would expect or would want, especially from a park that charges over $100 for admission. Overall, this is a fine roller coaster that I consider to be underrated amongst the new for 2023 roller coasters, mostly because of its location and I just don't think many coaster enthusiasts have made it down to San Diego to check this ride out. Big Bear Mountain, located at Dollywood. Now that lightning rod, which was the park's launching wooden roller coaster, will be transformed into a more traditional roller coaster featuring a chain lift, Big Bear Mountain will now be the only launching roller coaster in the park. Thankfully, this is a solid family roller coaster that features three launches, scenery interactions, twist turns, and a very long ride time. Big Bear Mountain is not the most intense coaster in the park, but a solid, fun roller coaster. The only negative I have, which should resolve over time, is the lack of foliage surrounding the roller coaster. Once the trees start to grow back in, this ride will look a lot better, but for now it's a little bare, no pun intended. Airy Force One, located at Fun Spot America in Atlanta, Georgia. Who would have guessed that a smaller family fun center would build a massive roller coaster? Airy Force One is yet another success from Rocky Mountain Construction, delivering some of their strongest forces on a roller coaster. 
the ride features four inversions, tons of airtime, and positive forces. From the first drop right through the brake run, this is a powerhouse of a ride that allows no stop for air. For the most part, Airy Force 1 feels like many other RMCs except for the changeup that happens near the midpoint of the ride. The coaster stays low to the ground while performing two inversions and a turnaround that produces some of the strongest G-forces found on an RMC. The biggest complaint I hear about this ride is how forceful the ending can be. Those final airtime hills really slam you into the restraints, and that quick stop on the brake run is something that you need to brace for. Fun Spot Atlanta is only 40 minutes away from Six Flags over Georgia, so the next time that you visit Six Flags, make sure to include some time for Airy Force One. Pipeline The Surf Coaster, located at SeaWorld Orlando. This is the underdog roller coaster of the year. When this roller coaster was announced, I wasn't too excited. I have been pretty vocal of my dislike for the stand up roller coasters, so when I saw BM was going to revive this concept with a new twist, I was hesitant. Well, Pipeline managed to exceed my expectations, becoming one of my favorite roller coasters in 2023. The ride features one launch, one inversion, and multiple pops of floater airtime. The biggest surprise about Pipeline is the amount of airtime and how unrestricted the harness system is. Sure, I have my gripes with the vest strap, but the seat and vest combo is a huge improvement over the original ball buster bicycle seat and head banging over the shoulder restraint. Also, the old stand up coaster restricted your legs, but on Pipeline, you can kick your legs out whenever you hit a pop of airtime, creating a sensation unlike anything else you've experienced on a roller coaster. I hope that Pipeline is just the first of many any surf coaster models to come our way from B&M. Wildcats Revenge, located at Hershey Park. If you would have asked me one year ago which roller coaster I think would be the best in 2023, Wildcats Revenge was not my first choice. Well, now that I've gotten multiple rides on this hybrid attraction, it's clear that Wildcats Revenge has what it takes to be my favorite new for 2023 roller coaster. This ride has a solid layout and near perfect pacing. Similar to the old Wildcat, this roller coaster creates the sensation of building up more speed throughout the ride until you slam into the brake run. There are a couple jarring moments, I'm mostly referring to that final turn into the brake run that might be a little too much, especially when you strap in near the end of the day and this coaster is hauling. But I can overlook these small complaints because the rest of the ride really delivers. With the loading and unloading platform, Hershey Park is able to send those trains, which speaking of, if you are lucky enough, you just might catch a quote unquote dueling moment as one train is traveling up the lift and the other train is flying overhead through the barrel roll. Well, that concludes my favorite new for 2023 roller coasters. I know that there's been a couple standout additions across the world, but for now I'm happy with what we got here in the United States. Tell me all about your favorite new for 2023 roller coasters in the comments. Until next time, this is X Screen Thrills.